And it looks like uh, Fringe is still kind of uh, keeping their taco in the air. He's got some hot salsa technology getting ready to uh, <laughs> drop it down on the ground. So Blizzard is finally down on the track and we're getting ready for the race. And uh, it's uh, Chris Luther who's pushing up hill one for uh, Fringe and uh, for SAD we have uh, SAE's SAE still in the race. Uh, Joseph Cordes. Fringe now just now taking a slight lead over SAE. They're going to probably make it over and over, over uh, up and over the hill first. Yep. And they, they uh, have a split time of about 18 seconds for hill one. So not, not the fastest, but uh, still um, still doing well. And they are pushing off into the free roll with uh, SAE just pushing off to the free roll about four seconds behind them. And it looks like uh, the buggies are pretty much maintaining distance, although uh, actually SAE is starting to get closer. They're within about 100 feet of each other. We'll see whether or not uh, SAE continues to uh, maintain that distance or get a little further back. It looks like uh, looks like Fringe is starting to roll a little bit better and uh, starting to take a bit, a bit more of a lead. So we probably won't see a pass in here. And uh, they're approaching the stop sign with a time of 54 seconds. So a decent stop sign time, about two seconds off the fastest. SAE gets to the stop sign in about 58 seconds. Fringe passed the top transition flag. Now SAE taking the same flag. Uh, Fringe just taking their shoot turn. Uh, nice and smooth, nice single radius, nice and through. Uh, perfect shoot turn for Fringe. SAE rolling through, will be a bit slower, also very nice. Just a little wobble when they hit a pothole, but uh, no significant issues. Uh, fringe rolling out about six to seven windows. Uh, nice, very nice pickup by Evan Gates. Here. He's getting ready to make his transition already from hill three to hill four as it looks like he picked up a little bit more time in the free roll. And uh, SAE, SAE is just making about five seconds behind. It's a pretty good fringe time. They're looking to beat their last year time at a 2.13. We'll see what they can do up there. And, uh, actually, they're getting ready to make their transition from hill four to hill five with the time on the clock of about 1.51, 1.52. So oh, we have man down. Seconds. Man down. And, yep. <laughs> Looking closer to about a 2.10 finish, but yeah, the hill four pusher for Fringe, and that's uh, Tim Halvett uh, fell down after uh, making his transition. As long as uh, he doesn't impede the progress of the other buggy and doesn't get hit by it, that's the important part. They're at 2.12, 13, 14, cross the line about 2.15-ish, maybe a sub 2.15 time. Yep. So for a uh, B team for Fringe, Probably a little slower than uh, what they'd hoped for, but uh, still a solid time. And it looks like SAE gets across in a time to 25. So if you look at the leaderboard, that might put them in the third place. SDCB being the top of the leaderboard right now at a 210 and 37 hundredths. SIG FA 5 hundredths behind at 210.42. That would put Fringe B in third. I gotta believe they're gonna make a day two, but you know, we still have five heats to go. Yes, yeah, here it is. Big power good. Yeah, absolutely. We have powerhouses. Pike could be in the next heat, who's put in consistently put in sub 210 times over the last few years. Unfortunately, last year the 214, not their best time. So uh, we'll see what they can pull out this year. Pike could be uh, has been uh, had some variation in, in their performance in recent years. But also strong teams like Pike A and SDCA, Fringe A, all in the last uh, three heats. So uh, we'll see if that's good enough to make it today too. So, Mark, uh, Fringe really has their line down pat, don't they? That was a uh, textbook shoot turn. <laughs> and, I mean, you don't see it a lot, especially with the road there, and she's got to avoid, you know, t it's traps a, and It's snares. a minefield to pick through, and yet they've, uh, they've clearly found a turn that avoids all the obstacles. And that back end stays pretty solid? Yeah, absolutely. It took a little hop when it hit a bump, but uh, it was way after any risk. It was pretty much on the straightaway by that point. Wow. Well, it looks like Fringe successfully made it through their drop test.